Oh, in it. <laughs> oh, that's because there's a cable sticking out. You can blame, you can blame the cold. <laughs> well, tell us about that. Uh, those final last restarts. There was one you had uh, control on, one that you were uh, running the inside, outside, all that stuff, uh, and you finished third. Is that disappointing? Is that encouraging? What is that like? Uh, it's disappointing. I mean, you know, just the 10 didn't really help on the on the push there, and and uh, the 18 got a really good run to the or the 20, I guess, got a really good run to the inside of turn one. And, you know, we made an adjustment on the last stop, and, and honestly, it's my fault. I, I, I felt like we needed to be just a little bit tighter on the long run and, um, you know, probably hurt myself on the short run like that. So, you know, proud of our team. I mean, the guys did a great job. We executed. We had a busy day. Uh, we came back from a lot. You know, we, we had a lot of flip-flopping in there, but, you know, ultimately it was still a good day and brought home uh, third. We're going to lose some points because of the stages because we didn't get any points in the stages, but still all in all a good day. On the radio, you and Jim sound like you're having a good time, even with Heldy. Did it feel like old times? It really did. I mean, you know, obviously I've had a great relationship with Jason Redek for a number of years. Um, so, you know, you never know how this is going to go. And I feel like we've jumped right in and and I don't feel like we've, we've lost a beat, right? We're, we're back to being normal Jim and I. Uh, I feel like the performance has been good. You know, our team is rock solid. I, you know, I, I say our seven team is rock solid, but really Junior Motorsports as a whole, there's a lot of depth. A lot of great crew chiefs, a lot of great drivers, a lot of great um, just information flowing through our building. Uh, what, three in the top five? And honestly, if the nine doesn't have his issues early on, I think he's equally up there with us as well. So, you know, it's it's the first race with this new package, with the, the, the suspension package that NASCAR's given us. And I think everybody was a little bit leery of it. Uh, but ultimately, you know, we put on a good race. And I, I mean, I have to say, after a race like that, I really don't know why we're knocking this place down. Um, I think everybody's in the same boat in agreement. Uh, but you know, it, it's 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 the nature where where we live in, and, and uh, you know, we'll make go make the most of it. So on that note, is it emotional anytime you finish off the final race at a certain configuration before it's torn up? Uh, more than I mean, you want to win it, right? I mean, you know, this place is going to go down in the history as one of my favorite racetracks. And I think if you pulled all the drivers, we'd agree. And I think if you pull the fans here, they'd agree with you. I mean, this place is absolutely phenomenal. If you look at the grandstands for the cup race earlier, that's a good indication of why this should still be the racetrack that we're racing on next year. Um, you know, it's it's dollars and cents. I understand that. But, but this racetrack, as worn out as it, as it is, uh, the, the character that it has, the, the racing lines, I mean, we're... We were all over this place tonight. I mean, there was. I mean, I at one point I was touching the grass in three and four, and I was riding the wall in three and one and two. So just disappointing that we're we're not gonna be able to come back here. But all in all, still a, a good solid day. I uh, wish we could have at least at least stayed in front of my teammate there. Um, we got really really tight off of four, and obviously uh, after last week, just bringing cars home was a was a was a benefit, you know. So uh, glad that we were able to finish it. How long can you have gone without a repaving?